Welcome back to Black Star Dove. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a little bit of like a late video, but the topic is still relatively new. It's been a long week for two individuals, um, both for different reasons. I will be speaking about Shannon Sharp and of course Miss Candace Owens. Shannon Sharp, as we all know, <laughs> On September 11th, of all days, um, accidentally recorded himself going live performing sexual activities with a young woman named Michelle. <laughs> Some people would say, how do you go live? It's impossible for a mistakenly go live. I would say this. It's not impossible and it's not hard because I've done it several times by accident on Facebook here's how you do it leave your phone unlocked and put it in your pocket watch what happens <laughs> you'll be calling people texting people you might go live it's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do leave your phone unlocked put it in your pocket and then boom and now take that same movie action and replace it with a bedroom your phone's unlocked they're doing some activities something could be pressed here or there. So it is entirely possible. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't a publicity stunt. As we know, as we all know, um, Shannon Sharp, AKA Uncle Shannon, Club Shay Shay. Um, he's a very private person. Um, we don't know too much of him outside of what he presents himself as. And that's okay, because you know, people do deserve their own privacy. So for that to happen, it was really embarrassing for him, which he admits. But on the bright side, someone, whoever was in his team that came up with the shirts <laughs> to capitalize off of it, genius. We have like the Nightcap 69 shirt, the Nightclap shirt, um, the That's My Michelle shirt, and I believe there's one more. <laughs> and oh my God, I gotta give it to him, man. He's making a lot of money. Something that was very mistaken, he's making a lot of money. And on the bright side, ESPN didn't let him go. None of his business partners let him go, which is, one of them is a um, enhancement pill company. So I don't think they're gonna let him go anyway. It's, it's more, you know, it's more publicity for them <laughs> and their company. Um, but it, it was just a series of unfortunate events. And, um, which kind of piggybacked off of what he did to Chad. Because if you forget, the previous Sunday, he scolded Chad Ochocinco for being late to the show and saying, you know, have more respect, be more professional. And then a few days later, that happened. <laughs> so, as they say, God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> but, and all good and everything's all fun. Um, I'm happy he was able to rebound. I'm happy he's still going to be with ESPN. All his business partners like him, um, you know, BMW, all that stuff. Um, he was able to just laugh about it. Um, and he came out on the other side looking really, really good. So I'm really proud of Uncle Shay Shay. Let's switch over to Miss Candace Owens. Whew. I thought she would last a whole year before she got banned. <laughs> well, she didn't technically get banned, she got suspended. But I thought she, she would last a whole year before that happened. Um, but it is an election year, so stranger things have happened. Um, Miss Candace Owens is currently suspended from YouTube. Um, she cannot post for a little while. Um, she seems to be calling out Zionists. Um, but love her or hate it, you got to respect that woman. Like, she will fight tooth and nail. And she would debate anybody. Like, we can't say that about Ben. Ben Shapiro, he always backs out of things. But she would go toe to toe with anyone. And she'll present her facts. And she'll go at it. Um, and that's something that has to be commended. And um, a lot of people don't like Candace. But I believe that we should most definitely protect her because A, she's a black woman no matter what. 
Um, she's fighting for the truth, or at least a version of the truth. And like, it's hard, man. When you have the whole world against you, and everyone seems to be against you, including your own people, it's hard. And I understand a lot of people don't like Candace for different re reasons. I always see her as like a version of me. Like, I try to call it straight down the middle, I try to be as honest, oldest, honest as possible. Um, but she's accused of stuff that we talk about every day as black people. You know how many black people dislike other black people? There's literally memes, memes uh, I've seen of black women saying that they won't get outside their car or they'll go to a different gas station if there are too many black men outside. Literally, like, there was a whole thing where black people were against the term Grand Rising because they associated it with black people scamming them. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, Candace Owens deserves an apology because she's doing the same thing that we've all we all do like I guess because it's like it's more of a funny thing when, when we do it amongst ourselves but when you do it out in the open it's supposed to mean something but it doesn't it really doesn't um so I'm gonna give her my full support um whew. I know she's gonna come back swinging I hope she doesn't get suspended again because you know YouTube is like, they're already on, on her ass now. <laughs> so, you know, what will happen if she gets kicked off YouTube? Who knows? Um, but I really think this woman deserves our respect. She deserves our support. She deserves our help. She is a black woman, just like any other black woman. They deserve our protection. I'm just saying. Uh, but those are my two thoughts for the two things that have happened recently. Take care. I love you. Peace. Bye.